my name is um, Paola Forigua. I am from Venezuela. I came to Epiphany um, five years ago with um, two suitcases full of dreams. And a lot of expectations and, and leaving a lot of things at home, family and very difficult situation but with a lot of hope too. And I received two job offers. My second interview was with Epiphany and it went great. I felt like I've known uh, the principal and the two teachers that interviewed me like all my life. I started as a volunteer, volunteering here, yes. helping with other teachers, Spanish teachers. A couple of years later, being a, a Spanish teacher, the music uh, teacher position was open. Okay, you can be the, the music teacher, you're gonna be the music teacher, but you have to keep speaking Spanish, so, okay, no problem for me. Mi nombre es Ava Kate. I don't know how to say my name in Spanish, but I do know how to say the number, I mean, siete. I can't never remember. It's seis. My favorite subjects are when I get to eat and recess. Hola, mi nombre es Olivia y están haciendo la español para seis años en la Epiphany. Y yo te, le gusta mucho porque es un gran oportunidad para hablar con las maestras de otros países y tienen un bueno tiempo hacer los dos idiomas. I like speaking hard languages sometimes and it's really cool like when you learn a new language. Like it's less complicated than English and instead of like like P and H making the f sound in Spanish you just have to like sound it out and then it like makes the letter. But Spanish is easier than English. Spanish, I think, is a good opportunity for people to learn a different language. Yo me gusta um, español porque tengo muchos maestras que es muy um, nice. Delfin, because I have a fin in my class, like a person, like that's my friend, and it's kind of funny because, like, I know a person fin and a delfin, what is like dolphin in Spanish, so it's like a word also. Ugar. Because, well, the J at the front is, it sounds like an H. It's a little complicated and it's a de no se donde. I only know how to like write. Instead of ra, it's ra. And also the words are different. Like if I need one word, it's it could be different in like Venezuela than Peru. So sometimes I just have to learn both ways. So I can speak to both of them how they'll understand too. Que paso mi chula? What's going on, my girl? Um, my dad knows some of it, but he don't really remember all of it. He needs to practice. When he comes in from work, he's like, hola, hi, man. He's like, hola, papa. They kind of speak Spanglish because they don't really have the accent and they don't really know how to spell stuff, so. Sometimes, but it's not very good. Most all words, she tries to say her wrong, but she is doing better at it, so. My mom is really good at like making the sounds, but my dad's not. He says Spanish words sloppy. Being able to see the kids communicate with people, with with people that comes to our school from other countries, see those students um, interact with our students in kindergarten and first grade, and being able to communicate with them and see their um, their faces when they see, oh, these students really speak Spanish. That's really cool. I hope that the students that have been through the immersion program here at Epiphany um, continue to appreciate different cultures. And they see people with uh, different, you know, the way they speak or the way they dress or the, the food they eat. And I think that's one of the most, the most important things that they 
have learned. Also, I hope that they can continue to use their Spanish skills, like develop, keep developing, we call being bilingual, being having a superpower. 